an outstanding 10 event program is set down for a decision at Club Manangle on Saturday night featuring three Group 1 events under the banner of Nutrient and Alabar Farms combining. The racing will certainly be outstanding. Looking for specials, going to kick those off in race two with the Dean St. Oscar's trained and driven boom. Freshened since he's solid third behind Defiant in the Group 3 Winter Championship. Boom has drawn nicely his form prior to his last unplaced run in which he finished fourth only six metres from the winner. His form was outstanding prior to that. I think Dean will be looking for an all the way win with Boom in race two. Moving over to race four, Major Jealous has been placed in his past three starts since arriving back from Queensland where his form was solid as well and although he's drawn out wide once again for the fourth occasion in a row, I think Major Jealous will be very hard to beat on this occasion with Jack Brown taking over the driving duties for Belinda McCarthy and Luke McCarthy, so Jack getting his reward for his outstanding form in the sulky of late to drive Major Jealous. And moving over to race five, one of the feature events on the card, the group one for the two-year-old Colts and Geldings and the powerful Emma Stewart, Clayton Tonkin stable. Hold the key. They've got three players in the event and all have drawn beautifully. Petrarca in four, first responder in two and one out wider is the very talented and unbeaten major celebrity. I'm going to stick with Petrarca, although I've got a very healthy respect for first responder. I think he's certainly going to emerge as an outstanding prospect in the coming months and years. On this occasion, Petrarca may be able to find the lead once again, as he did last time out in leading throughout. First responder will no doubt be breathing down his neck from go to woe. And Major Slebo, you can't rule him out because he's still a very professional type. But it looks to be a Stuart Tonkin dominated event with Petrarca to take the money for me. Over to race six, the free for all one, Newey Creek, this wonderful mare. Game in defeat last time out behind Total Diva and running second. She won a previous three in fine fashion, including a very similar race. She's up against Malcolm's Rhythm and out to Orlando, but I think with the slightly better draw over the two powerful runners from the McCarthy team, I think Wine Newey Creek can bounce back into the winner's circle. Now we're heading over to the very strong night event program at Melton on Saturday night. Going to go for the former key with the opening event, pull the other lead, nicely drawn in gate three, led throughout for an impressive win last week. You no doubt will strip fitter and once again pounce straight onto the lead and from that point onwards pull the other leg will take a lot of beating. So I'm going to be sticking with pull the other leg as far as the specials are concerned. And moving over to race seven, I'm going to stick with a kip fitter catch away for Eddie Gath and also his wife Kate to take the reins once again. Has drawn wide catch a wave, give it a try, who defeated catch a wave last time out on his merits. Has drawn nicely, but I'm going to go for that extra fitness with catch a wave. He's just a classy performer. And moving over to race eight, despite drawing the back row, I'm going to stick with the Emma Stewart Clayton Tonkin combination here once again with runner A celebrity going great guns at the moment and should give punters a further win on the night. So, my thoughts for the two exciting programs of racing at Clubman Angle, also Melton on Saturday night. Until next time around, good punning.